Karl Lagerfeld feeds on the young. Not literally, of course, despite what the rumors say. But at 70, he's more in touch with youth culture than people half his age, and it shows. I mean, Carl's in better shape than I'll ever be. Are you kidding? <laughs> Carl, Carl, Carl has found the fountain of youth, and he is not sharing it. <laughs> and that's not the only secret he's keeping. He's figured out what women want, all women, at every age. I'm fascinated in figuring out how young, hip girls like yourself wear Chanel. I mean, Chanel used to be considered for older women, and yet here you're pulling it off. Well, with these shoes, I mean, an old lady, well, an older woman, <laughs> um, I don't know if they would really want to wear this, but, you know, Carl has picked out things for younger women to wear as well. Chanel is timeless and Lagerfeld has always worked that to his advantage. When he took over in 1983, he set about rebuilding the house on the strength of its trademarks. The camellias that were Coco's favorite flower, the pearls she wore in ropes with everything, the chains she sewed as weights into the hems of her suits, and the tweeds and boucle fabrics that denote luxury and good taste. A house like Chanel, it's about uh how could I say some symbols, but the symbols have to be updated, if not as boring and dead. Take, for example, the tweed jackets that Coco stole in the 30s from her boyfriend, the Duke of Westminster. She made them fashionable for women to wear and a staple in every Chanel collection since. But these aren't exactly your English professor's tweeds. It's rubber on tweed. And most of the tweets are not tweets anymore. It's not knitted tulle because people imitate our tweets. You cannot imitate that because it's very difficult to make and they don't know how to make it. It's, you have to have the original in your hand to do that. That is very, very nearly impossible. Tell me what you love so much about Chanel. I love the frills, I love the bows, I mean, it's timeless, I have pieces in my closet that are 10 years old, 50 and I still wear them, I mean, you can't go wrong with Chanel. So really, I mean, when you buy a piece of Chanel, it's not about just fashion, it's a piece forever. I always tell my husband that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, worth it all, always worth it. At $10,000 an outfit, Chanel is unattainable for most of us. But these clothes will look right for years to come, which might make them a safer investment than Wall Street. Your favorite fashion editors will tell you why. I think that women are going to are going to want things that are very particular and special and personal. And I think you know both the department stores and magazines like ourselves have got to work very hard to uh, explain to women what uh, is a great investment for the season. So, what are the best buys here? The safest bets are the classics. The tweeds, the mix of black and white, and overly embellished accessories. Make it modern with a crop jacket or slim embroidered skirt. With these new classics, Carl has added so much to the story of Chanel that his legacy will be almost as lasting as Coco's. Carl is the bottomless endless source of innovation, creativity, ideas in fashion.